Okay, let's do a couple of other neat things. I've got another sample file here for you. So I'm going to go File and then down to Open, head up to your desktop and into your Project Files folder, into the Part 1 folder, into Lesson 5, and look for Art Brushes. That's the file that we're after. And I'll click on Open. And it might seem that this is a pretty empty file. We have some text in here, but check this out. I'm going to scroll down in my Brushes palette here. There's all kinds of brushes in here. And I've created inside this file a brush for you that we'll use. In fact, this was a brush that I created for myself a number of months back for a piece of artwork that I was working on. And I called it Curly Cord here. I wanted a cable that was curly like a telephone cord. So I've already created this for you here. The point here too is that your brushes are saved inside your Illustrator files. So back in the previous file, we didn't have our curly cable. It's only available in this file. So I'll grab my brush tool, or you could grab your pen tool, or your line tool, your pencil tool, whatever you'd like. I'm going to click and drag some kind of an arc here, and then in my brushes palette I'll go and find my curly cable, and there it is. It looks like a little telephone cord there. The silhouette of a telephone cord anyway, that's exactly what I needed. Now how did I create this? Well, it was a bit of a pain in the neck. I had to trace out or draw out these little scallops here. And I didn't do the whole range here. I think I did maybe 10 or 15 of them and then saved it as a brush. And what happens is Illustrator simply repeats the same pattern over and over and over. But because there's so many here, you can't tell where Illustrator starts and stops them, especially on a curved path like this. Now, what about this text up here? I'm going to take this text and save it as my own art brush. So if you have this path here, you can select it and get rid of it. I just wanted to show you my curly telephone cord. I was so proud of myself when I created that. Now I'm going to grab my text here and as you can see I've already applied some effects to it. I have a white stroke and then a black stroke running around it here. So I've already done all the legwork. I've already set it up here. So all I have to do at this point is take the text, drag it down into the brushes palette. Once again Illustrator says, hey what kind of brush do you want to create? I want an art brush. I'll click on OK. I get this dialog box once again. That's very lovely. I will hit OK. There it is, now added to my brushes palette. You should be a pro at this by now. You should know exactly what to do. I'll go and grab my paintbrush tool, make some kind of a path, and look at that. Now that's mint. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, a few other things to show you. I'm going to go back to my move tool. Just hit your V key. And I drew out a bunch of these here. I'm going to get rid of a few of these here. Or maybe I'll just get them out of my way. Something like this here. All right, so I, I have this... Now that's mint text here. Now this text is not the brush. This is the brush here and this is the brush here. This is just the object that I used to create the brush so I can pretty much forget about him. But what if I want to make changes to this brush? Well you've already seen that I can double click on this guy and I can change his direction and change his width and all this sort of thing. I can come in here. We didn't really talk too much about this color here but I could come in here and do this sort of thing if I wanted to. But what if I want to actually make changes to the colors inside this brush? Well, what I'll do is I'll take my brush here and drag and drop it from the brushes palette back into Illustrator. Now I'm back to the regular Illustrator text. And I could come in here, I could treat it just as if it were a regular Illustrator object. For example, I could switch to my white arrow tool and go and grab all of these letters here, for example. Do, 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 all the way across. Or of course there's a much faster way to do this using my select menu but I'm almost finished selecting here so there we are grab them there maybe I want the text to be oh I don't know blue very lovely now I could take this brush in my brush palette here and delete it get rid of it bah, they're gone no worries I'll take my new brush drag and drop it back down I want a new art brush okay now that's mint in blue OK, and then I just grab my paths here and reapply my brush. So at any time I can edit and update my brushes just by dragging an instance of the brush onto Illustrator's artboard, make whatever change I want, toss the old one, and then drag the new one back on. And you might have to reapply it to the paths and objects inside your artwork. Now that's about it for art brushes. Of course, we could keep going and keep going and have all kinds of fun, but I will leave that up to you.